Welcome to Seesaw. This video is for teachers using free Seesaw. Let's get set up. Seesaw brings educators, students, and families together to create a powerful learning loop between the classroom and the home. In this training, you will set up your account in class, get students up and running, and learn to use essential Seesaw tools. First, create your Seesaw account. Go to app.seesaw.me or download the Seesaw app. Tap I'm a teacher and then sign up. You can create an account with Google or enter your information and tap Create Teacher Account. You will be prompted to create a class. You have two options. First, if you have a roster in Google Classroom, tap Import from Google Classroom and follow the prompts. This automatically imports students into your Seesaw class. Students simply use their Google credentials to sign in. If you don't use Google Classroom, type a class name and choose a grade level. Specialist teachers and teachers of multiple grades tap Other. Pause the video now and create your Seesaw account and your Seesaw class. Next, add students. Don't worry, adding students does not give them access to Seesaw. If you imported your class from Google Classroom, your students have already been imported. You can skip this step. Otherwise, tap the Students button. It's at the bottom of your screen. You'll be taken through the following prompts. First, choose a sign-in mode. There are two options, email address or class code. If students have access to an email address and password, they can use it to sign in. Follow the instructions on your screen. To get added to your class, students use the join code, then enter their email address and password. The join code is only needed the first time students sign in. After that, they simply enter their email address and password. The second way students can sign in is with a class code. On this screen, choose No. You don't want students to sign in with an email address. Then choose how students use devices. We recommend choosing one-to-one -one devices even in classrooms with shared devices, because students typically use devices one at a time. Now, type students' names. You can do this one by one, or you can paste a list of student names by tapping here. You can always add more students later in class settings. That's the wrench icon. Follow the instructions on your screen. Students use the class code to sign in. Pro tip! Print the QR code and hang it around the room or tape it to each student's desk. Pause the video now. Choose email or class code sign-in and follow the prompts to add students. We created resources to help get students started. Follow this link for lesson plans, student videos, handouts, and more. The green add button is where it all begins. When teachers tap the green add button, you see this menu. To post to the class journal as a teacher, tap Post Student Work. You have access to all Seesaw learning tools to create your post. For example, use the photo or video tool to share classroom moments. Or use a combination of tools to create multidimensional announcements, resources, discussion questions, and more. Upload a photo add text labels, use drawing tools, and even add your voice to create a post that gets students excited, like this welcome post. Students also have a green add button. This is the student view. Notice it says student under the class name. The student view, very similar to the teacher view, with a few differences. When students tap the green add button, they don't see the teacher menu. They go right to the learning tools to create their post. Students use the video, camera, microphone, or drawing tools to capture the learning that is taking place in the classroom. Or they can capture a video of their learning. And so much more. 
The green add button is perfect for quickly capturing day-to-day -day learning moments. View posts created by you and your students in the Journal tab. The Journal tab is the default view when you log into Seesaw and it shows all posts in the order they're posted. Second, if you tap on the little calendar icon at the top of the journal feed, you'll be able to see student post by date. Tap on any date and see all work posted on that date. Note, the calendar icon will not show up until something has been added to the journal. Third, if you tap on a student's name, you'll see all work by that student. You will also see all of the work that they are tagged in. Engage with student work by tapping like, the heart, or comment, the speech bubble. Other students can like and comment on each other's work as well, unless you disable this setting in class settings. When you comment on a post, you can leave a text or audio comment. It's your turn. Pause the video now and create your first post. The green add button is great for getting started. Seesaw activities open even more possibilities. Seesaw activities allow you to create structured experiences that transform learning. To get to the activity libraries, you can either tap the library icon at the top of the journal or tap the green add button and assign activity. There are three different activity libraries in Seesaw. My library is where you find Seesaw activities you save and create. Find ready to assign standards aligned lessons that build foundational skills that students need the most in the Seesaw Lessons Library. Everyone has access to a sampling of free lessons from every collection. These lessons engage students in multi-dimensional activities using Seesaw's powerful learning tools. Finally, the Community tab is where you find free activities created by your community of ambassadors. Here, you can access ready-to-assign activities that include step-by-step -step student instructions, teacher notes, a template for student responses, and more. One of the best ways to get started using Seesaw is to access our Getting Started Guides. Our Getting Started Guides include four sections, an introduction to Seesaw, get students started, connect families, and deepen learning. Our Getting Started collection is located in the Seesaw Lessons Library. These activities help you start your year on Seesaw. Tap on the Seesaw Lessons Library, then tap on Getting Started with Seesaw. The collections are broken down by grade level and include at least five fun activities to use to start your year. When you find an activity you like, tap the heart to save it. Find the saved activity in your My Library. Saving activities does not assign them. The instructional content in each lesson is used to introduce or review a concept and build and activate background knowledge students will need to complete the activities. Tap Present to Class to present the introduction to the whole class. To assign the activity, tap the blue Assign button. When you tap Assign, you can see a list of all your classes. Check the box next to one or multiple classes to assign to. You can also modify activities that you find. Tap the three dots to either edit or copy and edit the activity to customize it for your needs. Pause the video now. Find, save, and assign an activity. Let's explore the Seesaw workflow. Assigned activities show in the Activities tab. To respond, they tap Add Response. If no template is attached, Students use any Seesaw tool to create their post. If a template is attached, each student gets a fresh copy of the template to complete. Once students submit their responses, the activity moves from the To Do section to the Done section. They're ready to complete the next one. Back to the Teacher view. You can view student responses by tapping the gray bar 
on an activity. See which students have completed an activity and which have not. Tap on a response to see the post. Engage with student work by liking the post or adding a comment. Comments can be typed or recorded. Audio comments are particularly helpful for emerging readers and multilingual learners. Note that all posts must be approved by the teacher before they're visible in the class journal. When there are student posts for you to approve, a red bar appears on the bottom of your screen. Tap Review. Review each post and approve or delete. Note that deleted posts cannot be recovered. Pause the video now. In your teacher account, pretend you're a student. Go to the Activities tab. Tap Add Response, select Sample Student, and complete the activity. You did it! You're set up on Seesaw and you've mastered the Seesaw Basics. With these skills, there's so much you can do on Seesaw, and there's a lot more we'd love to show you. Find more free training at learn.seesaw.me or web.seesaw.me forward slash training. See you again soon here at Seesaw.